Okay, we want to take a look at linear equations and move on to graphs of linear equations. We want to do that kind of quickly because we spent a lot of time on the exponents and stuff. Um, so the forms of linear equation, this is a form called the slope-intercept form. The slope is m, y-intercept is b, right? And I don't have to read that to you. This is a standard form. I don't have to read that to you either. If it's some multiple of a plus some multiple of b plus some other number equals zero is what's usually called the standard form of a linear equation. So what we want to do is we want to take this and show that if it's this, then it's this. Okay? Uh, if it's this, it's got to be this. So what we want to do is take this form and solve for y. But we ran into a little bit of a hang up here. Turns out that we really need a quick review of the things you can do to solve an equation. Because you want to say, well, we want to move this over there and this so forth. Well, you don't just move things around. You use mathematical operations to be sure that what you're doing is legitimate. Because otherwise, it's easy to say, well, I'd like to make, do, move this that way, and it's totally illegal. But you do it anyway, and you're dead in the water. Oh, talk about dead in the water. Where'd that come from? There's, there's a piece of chalk there. So. Okay, you know that or I'm getting dizzy. Uh, I don't feel dizzy, so I don't think that's it. Uh, all allergies could be. Okay, equation solving, okay? You can add the same quantity to both sides of an equation. Okay? Now I say add, I don't usually say subtract, because if I want to subtract things, that's the same as adding the negative, right? Right. So I usually say it that way. Not everybody would say it that way. Yeah, let's see what's going on there. Okay, or multiply both sides of the equation by the same quantity. Okay, or you can raise both sides to the same power. If you do that, you got to watch out for extraneous roots. If you square both sides, then you're likely to get a plus this or minus that in your solution. And, th and one of those might not have been a solution to the original equation, but we'll talk about that when we get to it. But you can raise both sides to the same power, but you got to be careful. That's what you got to kind of remember right now. Okay, <coughs> so solve this equation for y. What's the first thing you want to do? Well, you want to move something to the other side. Now, first thing somebody said was, well, you want to divide by b. Eventually you do, but that would involve a division you do subtractions and additions first. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's kind of like order of operations. And there are good reasons for that. If you divide everything by B, then you've got to divide this by B, this by B, and this by B. Okay, and of course zero by B, but that would give you zero. Well, that's not an illegal operation. It's just more complicated than what you would do if you add the same thing to both sides. So what would you add or subtract on both sides to get rid of something else? What, what do you want to get rid of? Just C. one term. Huh? C. Okay, how would you get rid of C? You would subtract it on that side and add the negative to the other side. So it would be like negative C on that I would add negative C to both sides. Yeah. That's the way I would say it. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> or we could just say, you know, that, that's the way I'm going to apply the law, but yeah, you, it actually feels a lot like subtraction, and really it is, so uh, I forgot the plus sign. Plus C minus C equals zero minus C, right? Right. And then C minus C is zero, so now we just have AX plus BY equals negative C. Mm -hmm. Now that wasn't hard. No. What do you want to get rid of next? AX. Remember, try to solve for Y. Right, so we'll subtract <coughs> AX. Yeah, subtract AX on both sides, and you know this. So we're actually adding negative AX to both sides, but it feels like we're subtracting, and we are. Yeah. So nothing wrong with that. And I forgot my plus AX here. So what I wrote down there is totally wrong. So we have, no, actually it isn't. I don't know. Okay. It was right. Okay, and then AX minus AX is zero, and that leaves us BY equals negative C minus AX. Right? Okay. Now what do we do? Divide by B. Yeah, because now, when you divide, you've got to be sure that you 
divide by a non-zero quantity because you can't divide by zero. Right. So we write by over b equals negative c minus ax over b. And then we say, provided b isn't zero, because of course if b is zero, you wouldn't have a y to solve for. Right. So that it's, it's really sort of redundant in this case, but by over b Oh, right. Quarter, and then you I dropped it. <laughs> Don't touch my no, Just Y and we end up with this, right? Right. Well, is this in this form? No. Not quite. So we solve for Y. Now put it in the form. Dude, I'm, I'm right I'm right okay. So how do we do that? Um, Classes are still in session. People should be really quiet. I do the same thing. Okay. Uh, well, how do we simplify this expression? Well, what this really means is 1 over b multiplied by this, right? Right. So I'm going to write it out this way to make it very clear that you can't just divide, you know, write negative c over b and then minus ax. Right. You got to, b has to go into both of them. But there's a simple reason for that. It's a tri distributive law that everybody seems to not want to use. And I'm going to switch the order of ax, the negative ax, and the negative b because I know I'm going to want the x term first here. Right. Just to put it officially in this form, okay? And now y equals 1 over b times negative ax. That's a c there, not a b. Okay? And then it's plus 1 over b times negative c by the distributive law of multiplication over addition, right? Right. Okay? So it's a multiplication. And this was a multiplication. And seeing it that way, we understand that what we have to get is we have to then get negative A over B times X minus C over B. Okay? Because many people, with cancellation, if B is 2 and A is 4, people divide 2 into 4, cross them up, put a 2 here, and not do anything to that C. Okay? That's why I emphasize the rules. Right. Okay, doing it all carefully by the rules and writing out every step, which is something I want you to work on. It'll benefit you. Okay, make the course easier for you. Okay, so now, what's the slope? The slope is negative a over b. Yeah. So you see this slope, negative a over b, and the y-intercept. C over B. So we've just shown that if it's in this form, it's equivalent to this, right? Right. Because every step is connected by a valid operation, an operation that doesn't change the truth of the equation, okay? And that's an idea you want to you, you, you want to keep kind of in your mind okay. when you're solving equations. Um, now there's all the stuff on graphing, but we're kind of out of time now. And uh, yeah, we'll talk more about it Monday, especially. Try to get your calculus, pre-calculus assignment done by Monday okay. as much as you can and identify the things that you have trouble with. Okay, I will. And, and Monday we'll try to do that. Of course, we also got to uh, uh, have to see what Cole has yeah. uh, to, to add and to, to work on. Okay? Okay. But this is coming up for him too, so. All right. I mean, he's, he's actually into it, so we can spend time on it by all means.